Good morning, everyone, or good day, good night, good evening, afternoon, whatever it may be in your world. How is everyone doing? Who have we got? We've got Renee, Angie, and Rosalind, three of my favorite ladies. All right, good. I have sound and I have video. I can't, I can't, can't, um, you know, guarantee that we're going to have like class or talent, but we have those, so that's a good start. Waking up with a strong cup of tea. Yeah, I've got, I've got a good, good strong cup of coke right now. So just trying to balance the light because it's early in the morning. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't look too glaring. Might have to close my window because I think I've got the morning glare coming on in might be a bit better I don't know I don't know who knows we're professionals here oh. Robin how's it going oh you've still got the brackets around you now I wonder what YouTube's doing they're weird, really weird Hey, Kenny, and it's not 3 a.m. Woohoo! No, it's not 3 a.m. Mind you, no, I actually was asleep at 3 a.m. this morning. It was last night that I wasn't. But, um, all right, so while we're waiting for people to come on in, I'm going to do just a little bit of show and tell because, and I'm wearing my Harry Potter hoodie just for people that know it's five degrees here, so I'm like, I'm a bit cool. Okay, so I got Happy Mail off of Raya San. So she sent me some Happy Mail, and I just wanted to show you. I'm like, not showing the other side, obviously, because it's got our addresses on it. But look at it, it's all done with washi tape. But I love this. Is this honestly getting Happy Mail from Japan is just amazing because of the care that they take in packaging. Okay, so this is how it came. So it's like this. And, um, oh, 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 yeah, totally glad it's not 2 a.m. Although I nearly did stream because I wasn't feeling well on Friday night and I missed my stream. And then I woke up at like near, like later near midnight and I was like, boom, 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 and I was wide awake and I was like, I'll get on and do a midnight stream. But, um, I was, I did it. I was good. So it comes all wrapped like this, which is really sweet. Um, and just like little, little details. So we've got the little dolly. But it's got even the little card. It says here, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's got Tami, which is my name in Japanese. And I'm like, oh, that's all right. You can be sidetracked. Oh, yeah, the packaging is gorgeous, Rosalind. Okay, so then... Open it up. I made Georgia was opening it up in the car, and I'm like, "You be careful with that. I need to repackage it so people can see how beautiful it is." <laughs> and then I love it. I got stickers. I got donut stickers, and I've got Shibu Inu, which is like so cute. So it's like a little um, junk journal kind of little collection. I got some flowers, sakura. And then I've got a little couple of little um, colouring postcards. And it says, Temi, hope you enjoy this small token. This will not be the last. Thank you for being a sweetheart and offer all the support. I always love watching your videos. Keep inspiring and be a warrior. There you are. And then this is this is the part that I was hoping on because I saw it and she was the first one that put it up and I was, I commented and when she said she was sending me happy mail, I was like, please be sending me the rainbow lady. Look at this perfection. I'm just, I absolutely love it. And I'm getting quite a little bit of space on my, um, quite a bit of collection on my um, bookshelf of, of these. And I do, I just love looking at them, but, and then sent me another one on here and I'm like I don't know whether this is that um because it feels quite smooth so I don't know if it's that 
Spring Hill paper or, or what it is, but I'm like, it's toothy, but not too, I don't know. I don't know what paper it is. I should have asked. And I was like, ah. Yeah, the Rainbow Lady is spectacular, Rosalind. She, it is just absolutely spectacular. And then in here, I got more journaling stuff. Look at these things. Look at these. I love Japan. I'm like, Japan is just the greatest. I need to go back. But I've got all of these little little stickers and things, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I just, like, I love it all. And I'm like, ah. So, and it's so cool because my aunt does this junk journaling kind of stuff too. So I'm going to put together a little package for her, and I'll put a couple of these little things in so that it spreads around, spread the love around. Um, Good Etama, I love Good Etama. We watch that at school, like in my class, if we ever have um, a bit of spare time, we watch Good Etama. Lazy Egg, oh my God, these are like paper things. Sorry, I didn't really look too closely when it, Georgia opened it the other day because I'm like, no, I want to really un, un, um, unwrap it so people can see and i'm like oh they're so cute look at the kitty cat oh my god i love all of this so yeah so i will i'm gonna make a little um i'm gonna make one of shannon's envelopey journal things and i'm gonna send it up to my aunt and i'll put a bit a few of my things in and a few of these and get have a whole lot of travel around raya is such a darling she is just beautiful Okay, and then I have, I've actually done some colouring this week, which is like weird as, I know. So I finished off the Jane F. Hankins. So we discussed, um, if you didn't see Shell's stream, was it yesterday? I don't know, time. Yesterday, day before, I don't know, whatever day it was. She did um, Professor Numero which is like Angie and, and Shell have decided that that's like my, my, uh, my, you know, imp impersonation, which is true. Like I would totally rock that outfit. And she did him rainbow style. And I reckon this lady and him, they got together, they would have the best chats. So I've got that. So I finished that off. That was with Polly's. And then I've done this one, um, which you might be able to see the shimmer and shine. So I did this one. Um, and I used the Windsor and Newton pencils and the Gunzo Tambi, uh, watercolor paints. And then, cause my filming didn't work. I went, oh, and I had a buddy color in here with Angie and Ashley. So I did this one too. So we got this one. Hey, Jamie. How's it going? Hey, Ruthie. So I did that one. That was with the Windsor and Newtons too. And then if you haven't seen the video that I put out, I don't know, yesterday, whatever day it was, days get so confusing now. I did one in Hannah Carlson in Spirit Animals and I did this one here and I used dollar pencils. Like, and I was actually hugely surprised. There you go, Shell. I'm going to cover up his face so that um, he's not looking at me. Um hugely surprised how it worked out. Like, I'm like, yeah, man, it was good. So that was my little play about during the week. Um, and had a bit of, a bit of fun with that. But what we're going to do today is finish off this color kick image. So we're going to use the Marco Rafines, and I haven't used them yet, so this could be fun. But we're just going to go with it and hope for the best. So let's bring it on down. Bringing you down, bringing you down. Can I even go so far before I can't see what I'm doing? So, all right. Let's have a look. What's happening here? Okay, so 
going to bring over my swatch book so that I actually know what I'm doing. And let's get started. Let's get it started in here. We're going to go, oh, my God, I'm in that mood. Sorry, in advance. We're going to go with 519, which is a pale peach. Now, Andy said to me, I'm going to have to work in light layers and lots of them. So we'll see how we go. And this is on watercolour paper. So I don't know how she's going to turn out. Hey, Corey. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous of your craft room. It's so neat and tidy and pretty. I'm like, oh, I want it. And I want that caddy. It is the coolest thing. Do, 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 do. All right. Sorry. A true blue is a million. No. Now, see, you've got it, Rosalind. You got me singing again. And um, so we'll put a light layer of that down. There's a little face, so I don't know how we're going to go. All right, I'm going to come in with the 556. Just to start getting some shading going on in there. But, yeah, totally jealous of your house, Corey. I'm like, I want it. All right. I keep threatening that I'm going to kick my kids out so I can have a room. Maybe. That being said, I think I might end up with another foster child soon. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to reorganise my house again. I keep bringing them in. I don't know. I don't know what will happen there. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but yes. So how's everyone's week, weekday, weekend? See, we're on to Sunday. Oh gosh, we're on to Sunday now. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit more of a weekend that we've had i'm gonna go into 558 which is more of a like a kaput morton of the thingy jiggy oh i i <clears throat> i kind of do mainly um because you know georgia is an only child and um i have the capacity to so i do um and that's like Emily. Emily came with um, her and her brother and her sister about three years ago. And um, she decided never to go back. So she's just mine now, um, which is nice. They are Marco Rafines. Um, so, yeah, so Emily, I told her she turns 18 in 18 months or so. And I said, you can adopt me if you want to. I said, I'm up for adoption. So, and then downstairs I've got, I ended up, I've got her older sister and her child, her toddler, living downstairs because they needed a place. So it's just what you do. Animals, humans. This is, sorry, this is 514. Basically. No, I don't, you know, I, I don't think I have wonderful, well, I'd, I'd like to think that, but I, I just... I have the capacity to, so why wouldn't I, is basically my kind of thought process on that. Um, but, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going to happen. We will see. But I'll probably be, you know, as especially as Georgia and um, 
and M and stuff get older, I'll probably um, bring in some more. All right, going to go in with 518. Um, you know, as a teacher, I see, I see some of the things that, you know, my students and stuff go through. And Emily and her, um, her brother and sister were my students. Well, a couple of them were. And um, so I see what they go through. And if I can do something to help relieve things. Okay, so this isn't, I don't think these pencils are going to be any good on this paper. I might have to change my mind. Because they're so hard, they're actually picking up the sizing in the paper. Yeah, soon we'll all be sleeping outside. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, it's actually tearing up the paper. So we might have to switch pencils. Um, otherwise she's going to look like she's got a torn up face. And they're supposed to be having a date, not a fight. So we don't want no cat fights in here. I get enough of them at school. All right, get my brush out. Just um, see, we'll, we'll persevere for a little bit, but yeah, you wouldn't use them on watercolour paper. Oh, I think I've got to look for another pencil set. Uh, do you know how frustrating that is? I'm like, gosh. All right. So, we're going to go with what I've got in this pencil case so I don't have to get, um, I don't have to get up off my chair. So, we're going to go from the complete. <laughs> The um, complete swap around. We're going to go to light fast. Woo! All right. <laughs> Let's call that a big swap around. Okay. All right. So we've got flesh pink. I'm just hoping these are soft enough too. I'm kind of thinking any of our oil-based pencils might be, or harder pencils might not be the way to go. But we'll make it work. I make everything work. Um, A.M. Stubborn. She be stubborn is what they say about me. All right, La Mars Violet. No, not me, stubborn. Never. Mind you, those one dollar pencils. I was, um, I was, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, What have I started here? I was like, No, nope, I'm gonna make it work. Angel be happy because basically, I think I've got to be light as a feather on this paper, light as a feather. All right, she can have. I'm going to have, what colour eyes? Green eyes. I'm going to go for green. Turquoise. <laughs> All right. 
So we've got the tiniest little eyes ever. It's like, oh, look. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get too much in there. So none of these are sharpened because I was like, I wasn't thinking I was going to these ones. Okay. A little bit of. Black, I imagine their pupils would be dilated. They'd be a bit excited. And let's go for a bit of, where are you? Platinum. All right, so platinum is just a light gray. Oh my gosh, I'm like trying to get some fancy, delicate coloring. Not, not really my thing. Um, you've got Buffy. Oh, has anyone else got Buffy? It's not coming up on my on mine as Buffy. Mm. Weird. Okay. Dusky pink. Okay. I think that I just have to accept that it's probably about as good as the, the skin's going to get. I'll do her hands while I'm here, her arms. So back in with flesh pink. Okay. Hello. That sounds like me at work. On in the background. Yeah, I'm paying attention to work whilst watching silent streams. Oh, how cute, Jamie. I love prey manises. They're so cute. Della, good day. They are good macro opportunities. Lots of pictures. I really should pull my DSLR out and actually take some photos. But the camera photos are so good these days that you just, I don't even think to take my DSLR anywhere. All right. Going to come in with, I need to get, um, let's get brown ochre. What's that? Where are you? Are you? Have you named them all, Jamie? So this is Brown Ochre. Um, here we, we would have had them all named. They'd be Fred and George and Bob. And Frank and Jeffrey. Yeah, I can't even use shaking as, uh, as an excuse, Angie. I just, I don't even think about it. The girls occasionally take my DSLR out and they go down and have photo shoots in the park with each other, which is kind of cute. But, um, because I don't, I used the DSLR when I was filming makeup videos. But it's not really designed for live streaming upside down. Hello, Melissa. So um, I don't use it for filming these kind of videos. So it kind of just sitting there. Um, so I really should do some more. 
<laughs> so, yeah, no, just name it. Um, all right, going back in with Mars Violet now. I'm just going to go over that burnt ochre just to soften down the yellowness in it because the Mars Violet's got a purple undertone. Oh, water droplet gear. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. I tell you what, is that like is that, that glass ball thing? I've seen so many things, like photos taken with that glass ball, whatever it is, and it just looks so wicked. All right. What dog? What dog? Oh, is that the... I don't know. What dog are you talking about? I'm like, Casper's just sitting here sleeping. Oh, I just heard his name. He's like, what? What am, what am I doing? I, I'm not doing anything. And, um, yeah, the, those water droplet things look cool. The, the ball things. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a photographer in any way, shape or form. I should have set up outside today. It's such a lovely day. Cold, but lovely. All right. I reckon she should be a brunette. So let's go with that. Oh, spirit animals, the dog. <laughs> But, but, like, seriously, no offence. I'm going to bring it back. Isn't that the scariest, like, dog face ever? I'm just, like, it looks like you want to put, like, the red circles in its eyes and have it, like, satanic and attacking you. Just looks like the chihuahua that's going to eat you. Oh, cute. Okay. Wait, I just, I just did that. So I'm just going in light layer. Just so I have something down. But, yeah, it's not cute and creepy like Camilla kind of cute and creepy. It's just looks like it wants to eat you. I'm like, you. All right. Sweet. And then we might go in with, because I have it out, brown ochre. All right. I need to hand sharpen, I think, because I need to get a better point. Um, yeah, now that dog, I was like, I, 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 then part of me is like the challenge. I'm like, I should color it and make you cute. But then I'm like, uh, effort. I don't want to put in any effort. Oh, Buffy, I, oh, my God, I haven't watched that in years. I've watched the first episode. I finally, finally built up the courage and, and watched um, the last episode of Lucifer. So I watched that last yesterday, last night? No, yesterday, a couple of nights ago. I don't know. So I watched the last episode of Lucifer because I was like, I don't want to watch it because I, was gonna, I thought I'd be sad because the second last episode killed me. But no, it was good. So I watched that. And, um, oh, that's not hair. That's cloud. Oh, well. And I was like, so I watched that. And then I watched the first episode of Sweet Tooth. That could be interesting. So we'll see how we go 
with Sweet Tooth one. All right, where am I going? Um, I'm just trying to find my colors. Okay. Melissa, did I say hello to you? I don't know. Oh, my God. No, my pencil's stuck. Okay. Hand sharpening that one. Oh, oh dropping everything. Oh, drop. Oh, sorry. That would have been in the mic. Oh, the boy who plays Sweet Tooth is, oh, it's this. You know when you buy open stock and they put this stupid barcode thing on it? Ah. Uh, It's sticking in my um in my sharpener. Alright, I'm get stubborn, remember? I'll work this out. Just get a bigger hole sharpener. All right. Stupid barcodes. All right. Warm earth. Note to self. Watercolor paper, not so good for pencil work. Well, not this watercolor paper anyway. But this is only cheap watercolor paper. Yeah, effort, Angie. I'm lucky that I swatched them. I like swatching, but removing barcodes? No thanks. I'm just going to complain when I go to sharpen them and go, oh, I should have removed them. Yeah, I'm glad I'm with you, Cor Cor you're with me. I'm like way too lazy. I just want to complain about it. All right. Let's go back over with the brown ochre. Yeah, I gain laziness. I don't want to get my actual Derwent crank sharpener out. Do you know why? Because the Derwent's got metal little thingies, and I don't want to. I don't want to pit my wood. I know, kind of pathetic. Probably should, but because I need sharp points. At least my super point's going to give me that. <laughs> yeah. She'll be right. It's all good, Andy. All right. Back over with wheat. Just uh, smoosh it all together and tear up the paper. Because, you know, why not? Okay. <laughs> no, it's all good. I, I, I'm okay. I just want to complain. If you give me stuff that I can't, then I have to find other things to complain about. Okay. Let's do this lady's face. She's looking a bit pale in comparison. 
but I'm going to use wheat. Oh, she's showing her shoulders. Ooh. I love a good old off the shoulder thing. Yeah, the tresses turned out really good, Melissa. Um, I'm actually impressed myself. I'll go in and in a little bit with pencil and do a little bit deeper shading work, but yeah, I was actually really happy with it too. All right, so that's wheat. Um, um, my pencils aren't in the best order because they I've been buying them open stock and I've got a new pencil case coming so they're kind of just um I don't know really know Where I've got things. She has a bit of a strange look on her face. All right, I'm going in with light bronze. Okay, I can't. I've got to. Oh, I'm just going to have to accept. Oh, look at that. This is what the Derwent Super Point does. Like, look at that point. But look what it does to your pencils. Oh, so annoying. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of, her chin's kind of sticking out a little bit. She jutting her face. <laughs> well, if you can't get it to work, Rosalind, I'm, I'm, oh God, who knows what I'm going to end up doing with it. Although I like that new little one of Renee that Renee's got. It's so cute. It's like in and out. This little tiny sharpener. Oh, internet's being dumb again. Oh, hello. Oh. So I'm going for more of a tanned look on this one. I don't know how it'll work. I'm just winging it. As I am, Liddy. All right, let's come in with warm earth. <laughs> oh, it probably isn't on Australian Amazon, Renee. Knowing, um, Knowing us, I just like it because it's cute and I want it in pink. But oh, Angie's got the dial for me. All of these things that she gets because it's so much easier for her 
to get them sent to where she is instead of me out in the middle of whoop whoop. And then they go into lockdown. Handy. And now they're not allowed to come visit for a while. Oh, yeah, we've all got way too many sharpeners. Although the other day I'm looking for, because I've got, I really like the Faber-Castell tri-colour group one. Don't know where that is. Don't know. So I, I don't know. I don't know what I've done with all of mine. I'm going to come in with the Mars Violet just to give a bit of shadowing. 